Hi, this is Nigel and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a PayNow Zimbabwe account and then how to create a website with an online ticket selling store. Um, currently PayNow is Zimbabwe's biggest payments gateway so it's the go-to method for creating online e-commerce solutions for Zimbabwe and they're currently doing some upgrades so i can only show you how to set up an online ticketing store but uh, i'll make a, a video in the future where i'll show you how to create a full-fledged online store so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a pay now account and then after creating a pay now account i'll go to wordpress and show you how to set up an online ticketing store for selling tickets for an event or some function of yours online so let's go ahead and on paynow.co.zw we want to go ahead and click the sign up at the top right and the sign up let's enter our details Make sure you enter the code. Click I agree and register. And an email will be sent to your email inbox. I'm going to save the password and then go to my email and from your email there should be a link click the link to come back to pay now and complete your registration okay I'm in my email now and this is the email I've got from pay now it says dear Nigel Rogers congratulations you have created a payment pay now account using this email address please follow the link to complete your the registration process so I'm gonna copy the link and come back into my browser open a new tab paste the link and go and let's enter my email address info at divima.com and log in And then as soon as you log in, you'll be prompted to set up your payment options, set up your payment bank accounts. Um, I'm going to select all of these. We'll leave them all selected and click next on the bottom right. Then enter your bank account, uh, your bank account details. So I'm going to enter my bank account details, then click next. And also select if you want to receive all payments in a single account or separate accounts. So that means if you select separate accounts, when you get a visa payment, then you receive all of the visa card payments in a separate bank account. But I'm just going to leave it as a single account for now and one note on separate payments is a good thing about having separate payments is if you have a visa card account with uh, a, or a foreign currency account you can receive visa payments using the foreign currency account then receive other payments using local currency accounts which should be helpful but for now I'm just going to select a single account to keep things simple and I'll enter my details and then click next and then on the last step you can select to always absorb the charges which means the charges will be incre included in the price of whatever you're selling always pass the charges to the customer which means the customer will pay for the charges of the transaction or split evenly 
between you and the customer the charges of the transaction then when you finish that you can click finish and then you'll be taken to a page with the heading ways to get paid and I'm going to scroll down I think all the way at the bottom and we're going to create a third party shopping cart so click create and then at the bottom click create advanced integration and for the name I'll call it DiviMate should absorb fees and all these details should be okay and I'll click Save and you'll get an integration key an integration ID and an integration key we're going to need these two so I'll click email key to info at divimate.com to email the integration key and the integration key has been emailed to my email address and I've also got my integration ID which I'll also need so after that we've done setting up our pay now account we can go now and set up the ticketing on the website I've just logged into my dashboard on divimate.com. Just going to show the dashboard menu, the WP admin menu. And what I want to do is add two new plugins. So I'm going to go to plugins, add new. The first plugin I want to add is the Camptix event ticketing plugin. And you want Camptix event ticketing by automatic. You can click install now. And after it's installed, click activate. When the plugin's activated, we can click back to go and install the next plugin, which will be the Pay Now Camptix pay Payment Gateway. So let's type in pay now, one word, and it should be the first one, Camtix Pay Now Payment Gateway by Tiraim Goa, Leo Moyo, Nigel Rogers. You can click install now. So Camtix the Camtix plugin, the first one we installed, allows you to sell tickets on your website. And the Camtix Pay Now Payment Gateway allows you to receive payments using local currency. I've just clicked Activate, and you'll see the tickets option is available now on the left, on, in the menu there and I'm going to hover over tickets then go down to setup and under setup I'm going to go to payment and I want pay now to be disabled so next to enabled I'm going to make sure no is is selected and for credit card stripe i'm going to make sure no is selected also and then under pay now i'm going to click yes and then enter my merchant id which is in my email let me just go to my email and copy that So here's my merchant ID, 62.
and my merchant key and then after entering those details you can go ahead and click save changes and then you'll need to go to tickets again then under tickets click tickets and create a new ticket and we'll call this Diffie made test ticket <coughs> and I'll give it an excerpt of testing camp ticks ticketing and questions is default questions are first name last name and email address i'll leave them as is and the price i'll put as one dollar and make 100 tickets available i think that's all the details we need and i'll click publish and after publishing the final step you'll need to take is create a page so I'll go to pages, add new. I'll call the page test ticket. And then I'm going to type in the short code CampTix. publish the page and view the tickets page and we've got our one dollar test ticket I can click register enter my details and pay now is selected as the payment method I'll click checkout and I'll be redirected to the pay now payment gateway page and you'll get a message testing faked success which basically means the payment has succeeded And so that's how you set up a simple e-commerce integration with PayNow. In future, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce integration and um, an easy digital downloads integration. PayNow are currently working on some updates, so I won't be able to do any of those. I don't work with PayNow or for PayNow. I do these tutorials independently, so I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.